In this video, we'll start with the preparation stage and review the related features in the customer portal. The customer portal is the central place we'll interact with clients and create a detailed project briefing. We are currently in the manager view, where we'll see an overview of all website projects and to-dos. To access the customer portal for a website, click on a project to open the detail view. Here we can manage everything about this specific project and customer, like adding to-dos, changing the customer data, or sending a message to the customer. Now, to invite our client to their customer portal, click the Customer Portal button and select the Create Invitation link, which we can send directly through our tool. To access the Customer Portal from the agency perspective, click Start. In the Customer Portal, there's a menu on the left side of the screen. What's displayed here will change depending on the website's status. Under My Data, the customer can manage the data entry themselves and insert the relevant information for a customer name, owner, contact person, and address. Let's go into the Website Tools and start with File Manager. This is a central hub for us and our clients to manage and upload files in formats like PDF, PNG, and JPEG. We can browse computer files to upload or simply drag and drop them into the file manager. One of the many time-saving features is the ability to convert PDF documents into JPEG files. To do this, make sure a PDF is uploaded, click the I button, then choose the file format we want to convert. In this instance, let's choose JPEG then set the pixel width. We'll now have a JPEG file in our file management hub. Under Wishes, we see a submenu of Inspiration, Layout, Logo, Colors, Content, Contact, and Legal. This is a pre-designed survey and serves as your briefing for the perfect website. We can either fill in the data with the customer or let them do it themselves. It's easy to understand and use. Let's start with inspiration. Here, the client can share other websites and comment about what they like. The client can use the description box to explain their preferences and use the file upload section to upload files that inspire them, like screenshots or other images. Moving to layout, this section gives us the ability to choose a one-page or multi-page site. Under Logos, we can add a logo, again via drag and drop, or by uploading from our local drive. A client can also request a logo if needed. Moving to Colors, we can choose colors from the current website or colors detected in the logo. Or, by clicking Choose Colors Yourself, we can pick the main accent and text colors. Let's move to Content. Here we can add subpages and sections that should be visible on the website. Let's add a section and include text. We can also upload files for sections or subpages here. We also have an option to retrieve content from an old website. Looking at contact, this is where we can add or change contact data, opening hours, location, and social media accounts. Finally, the legal section is for uploading information like VAT numbers, registration details, and more. We can also enter the privacy policy and cookie policies in the text boxes. Once this is complete, we have everything we need to create the new website. Even better, the customer has had a chance to provide all details beforehand, leading to fewer edit requests later on. We now have a sense of how to use the customer portal to collaborate with clients and collect ideas, content, and contact information to make building the website much easier. We'll be informed of any new wishes in the Manager view under Tickets. The information provided under Wishes is also available in the Website Builder. 
That's about it for the preparation phase. Since we have all the information needed, we can start with the creation of the website. To keep track of the website's progress, we can change the status from preparation to creation. Let's have a look at the website builder and its features in the next video. Get your hands on SiteJet today.